We're back with some more TikTok news and thankfully no one's gluing themselves or scaring people or anything like that. Instead, we're seeing a warning to new homeowners about what they're posting online and why they could be at risk. We often see people online sharing photos of their brand new houses, whether it's some random couple on your Instagram explore page or your sort of friend from high school who's making a killing on OnlyFans. It's a common trend to see people posing outside of their brand new homes, showing off their shiny new set of keys and reminding you that you may never be able to afford for a house in this economy. But in all seriousness, there's a pretty dangerous trend going around regarding these kinds of home announcement photos, but thankfully there's a TikToker out there who's out to save our skins and prevent us from falling into a trap. A TikTok user named Kathy Pedreas made a video on the platform in late October where she brought a dangerous scam to light which affects new homeowners. In the video, she addressed these photos of people showing off the keys to their new houses and told viewers that scammers may be able to make a copy of their keys from the images and advises homeowners to quote, treat your keys like you would any private information. The TikTok has racked up nearly 10 million views, so hopefully people are becoming more aware of these kinds of scams. As technology is becoming more and more advanced and computer programming evolves, we are now seeing an increased number of thefts and scams because of programs and apps that allow you to make a copy of a key just from importing a picture into their system. Before I go any further, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. Your likes really help our channel grow and we love seeing your positive feedback so please go ahead and smash that like button. So in the TikTok, Kathy didn't go into specifics as to what programs these scammers might be using because there's quite a few methods to copying keys but one app that could be a culprit might be KeyMe. This app is made by a company that allows users to make copies of keys and order duplicates of them from their platform just by uploading a picture of it. The software maps out the notches and grooves of a key and then creates a copy for the consumer. This can be great for making copies for loved ones or significant others, but in the wrong hands, this can allow thieves to be able to break into your house without even having to pick a single lock. But this isn't the only way someone can make a copy of your key. Kathy also did a TikTok duet to a video posted by user Outdoor Sports one where they showed how they were able to take a picture of a key next to a coin for scale, and they were able to trace the key pattern onto a piece of plastic to make the key and unlock a door. This shows that it's not just computer software that makes your house vulnerable to break-ins, since there's sort of DIY methods of hacking duplicates as well. Well, unfortunately, this kind of thing isn't new. According to a computer science team at UCSD, they've been able to create a software that's able to duplicate a key from a picture that was taken from 200 feet away, and this was back in 2008. So imagine how far that technology has come from 12 years ago. If someone were able to get a hold of your personal information and found an image you posted of your house key, they could easily be able to make a key, find your address, and simply walk through your front door without any trouble. And if you think this kind of hack is only for house keys, think again. This scam can cost you your car too. Anyone can use the same process of taking a picture of your car key and using it to open your door or your trunk or steal your personal things. And depending on the year, make, and model of your car, they could also use it to start your car and drive away with it. Luckily nowadays, car keys have different designs and keyless entry and start mechanisms are common in vehicles, but you can never be too careful. Bottom line here is to always consider what you share in your photos, who you share them with, and be aware of your surroundings because even the wrong person watching surveillance cameras can land you in some hot water. I think it's very important to be careful about these kinds of things, so shout out to Kathy and her TikTok for making us a little bit more vigilant. Before I watched this TikTok, I had no idea that people could copy your keys like that. Did you? I feel like this is a very good example of a technology being used for evil, you know? But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. But for now, let's do some comment shout outs from our video of the top 10 worst teen drama friendships. Bookish Raider says, never thought about how toxic some of the relationships in Glee were until you guys brought it up. I've been thinking about re-watching the TV series and how I can watch it with a different mindset. Thanks ladies. Yeah, honestly, you know, back in the day it was like, whoa, Glee is such a cool show. It's so woke. It's talking about all these issues. But then you look back on it and you're like, wow, this was some toxic stuff. Chris Krause says, for the record, Betty and Archie's secret relationship was a trick to convince the prep school weirdos that Jughead was really dead, lol. They weren't really together and yes, I know I need a life. Well, to, to, to go with that, you know, they started their like little weird relationship thing and then it kind of turned into like a real kind of relationship thing and then they were like, mm, we should stop, that's not cool. But then I did some research and apparently they're going to, you know, explore this hashtag Barchi confirmed stuff in the next season according to the producer or whatever. So we're gonna see some more stuff. Bottom line is, 
Betty stole Veronica's man. That's not okay. <laughs> and Title Potato says, honestly, these are the two best suited hosts for this video. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of tea, a lot of gossip. We, I don't know. I feel like we just vibe on that video. We did great. Not to like toot our own horn or anything. <laughs> Savannah Scott says, now hold on. Let's not forget at the very beginning of the show, Betty confessed to Veronica that she was in love with Archie and Veronica proceeded to make out with him and then had the audacity to basically tell Betty that her feelings were not mutual, therefore not valid. Honestly, out of the two of them, Veronica is the worst. Yeah, I completely forgot about that whole thing until I saw your comment. Uh, bottom line is, Riverdale is kinda trash. <laughs> I know too much about it and I hate myself for it, but it's so trash. <laughs> Just thumbs up behind. It's so trash. It's so trash. <laughs> Jay Marshall says, if you learn nothing else from all these friendships, don't cheat. It doesn't end well for anyone. Not even just these friendships, just in general. Don't cheat. It makes you kind of an asshole. <laughs> Thanks for all your comments and for watching until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning with me. That's all I've got for you lovely people today, but until next time, I've been your host, Bree Room. Stay safe, look out for one another, and take a little time for yourself today. You deserve it. TTFN, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs>